I'm Carl Taylor. I'm a visual artist, a painter. I'm inspired by artists such as Alviro Castanet. He paints um, building street scenes and just the vibrancy of the colours he uses. And another artist I'm at this to then, Tibor Nagy. He's a mm -hmm. Slovakian. Same with him too. It's um, buildings and places he paints. Mm -hmm. he, leaves, he leaves out a lot of detail. His, my work wouldn't be similar to his, mm -hmm. although I'm inspired by it. He would paint sort of old buildings, mm -hmm. flake and paint and that sort of stuff, you know, distressed looking. Mm -hmm. And it's the colour that he uses, or, or lack of colour, mm -hmm. a lot of time as well. My, my latest work mm. would be abstract cityscapes, and I think I got the ins inspiration from from them guys that I mentioned there yeah. to do that. Yeah. Uh, I mainly paint in uh, acrylics, uh -huh. and my work has been getting more and more abstract. Mostly lately, I don't uh, I don't have any intention in mind when oh. I start. I just yeah. start playing paint and and see, see where it goes, something usually emerges. Yeah. I've sort of got away from, from using uh, reference materials, because I think yeah. it's more, you get something more dynamic mm -hmm. when you're doing it off the cuff. I'm, I'm now painting from, from memory, mm -hmm. as, as well as from the imagination. Mm -hmm. And I've got, I've got away from doing the traditional landscape sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just enjoying the whole, the whole process mm. a lot more than what I had been doing. I prefer to work large scale. Mm -hmm. I think there's more, uh, you can have more freedom in it. You can mm. lash in, mm. you know, and, and you make bigger, more gestural marks mm -hmm. uh, compared to the smaller, smaller canvases when you're working on them. It's, it's all a lot tighter. Mm -hmm. Although the series I've just done there, um, the the abstract cityscapes mm -hmm. have been, um, they're all small scale, most of them in a way. I would be experimental. Mm. Um, I've been using uh, bitumen mm. in my work as well. That was in some of them abstracts and rust paintings. Uh, I've used it since as well. I, I like the, the variety of tones, the brown tones. You get light and dark in a mixture. Uh, I like using that and it works well with acrylics. Mm -hmm. Although a bit of uh, experimenting was required to make it work properly. But what I, what I like to do there lately is in them cityscape ones and these, these new uh, seascapes, I like to lash the paint on mm -hmm. and spray water on nice. it and to get it to disperse and, um, and, and I, at times I feel like it, the, the work sort of creates itself. Mm -hmm. it, um, as there's something I see in it and then I can, I can build on that. Yeah. You know, and um, it's just a good way. It's a good, good way to do it. Uh, sometimes I'll use rags and sponges yeah. and um, I, I just like to play. Some I would spend a day or two on. And others I could I could be could be a week or I could be sitting there maybe half finished and uh, and I would put it down and work start working on something else and then I'll go back to it a few days later a week later or a few weeks later. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes when I'm when I'm lacking inspiration that's what I'll do I'll look around uh, unfinished works that I have and and see if I can come up with an idea to finish them. But I do enjoy being there. There's there's freedom in it, being away from being away from home, and and having uh, the other artists there. We're gonna have uh, chats and going for coffee at each other's studio, and and there's a there's been a buzz about the place. Mm -hmm. More lately, I think everybody's got uh, more settled in. Yeah, yeah. You know, so so I'm loving it.